Hey everyone and welcome back to Out of Here Baseball. In this video, we're going to look at the National League Rookie of the Year winners of the 90s and what happened to them. The Rookie of the Year award was first given out by the Baseball Writers Association of America in 1947, with Jackie Robinson as the inaugural winner. The award would be renamed in Robinson's honor in 1987. Since 1949, the award has been given to one rookie in both the National and American Leagues. While the criteria defining who qualifies as a rookie has changed over time, the current criteria are that a player has not had 130 at-bats, 50 innings pitched, or 45 days on an active MLB roster before September 1st in any previous season, excluding time on the disabled list or in military service. This video will just touch on the National League winners from the 90s, since including the American League winners would effectively double the length of the video. But do not worry, a video for the AL winners will definitely come at some point in the future. So let's get started for now, as Out of Here Baseball presents what happened to the 1990s National League Rookie of the Year winners. Kicking off our list is 1990 winner David Justice. Justice had a strong rookie season for the Atlanta Braves, splitting his time between first base and right field. He had an OPS of 908 and hit 28 home runs, good for 8th in the National League. Other notable rookies in the NL that year included a trio of Montreal Expos players and Larry Walker, Marquise Grissom, and Delino DeShields, with DeShields receiving the only first place vote that did not go to Justice. Justice would go on to have a successful career, winning two World Series titles, finishing in the top five for MVP voting twice, and totaling 305 career home runs with the Braves, Indians, Yankees, and Athletics. The 1991 NL Rookie of the Year was Hall of Famer Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell started off his career in fine fashion, batting 294 with 15 home runs and drawing a ton of walks, but this was just a glimpse of what was to come. He won the MVP award in 1994 and had the season not ended early due to strike and may have gone down as one of the best offensive seasons in history. Bagwell spent his entire career with the Astros and accomplished a lot along the way. He had nine seasons with over 100 runs scored, eight seasons with over 100 runs batted in, and seven seasons with over 100 walks, culminating in Hall of Fame induction in 2017. Other notable NL rookies from the season include Orlando Merced, Ray Lankford, and reliever Mike Stanton. The 1992 winner was Dodgers first baseman Eric Karos. The Dodgers have the most Rookie of the Year winners of any MLB franchise, and Karos marks the first of five straight winners for them in the 90s. Karos won the award over Moises Salou, Tim Wakefield, and Reggie Sanders, among others. Karos was the only one of those players to play in the majors for the entire season, and received a boost in voting as a result. He had 30 doubles and 20 homers to go along with a 730 OPS, and would remain a mainstay in the Dodgers lineup until 2002. He would go into broadcasting after his playing career, and was a commentator in the MLB The Show video game franchise for a few years. Our next winner is another Hall of Famer and catcher Mike Piazza. Piazza's path to the majors is well known in baseball circles, as he was drafted in the 62nd round as a favor from Dodgers manager Tommy Lasorda to Piazza's father. A few years later, Piazza was in the bigs, hitting 35 home runs as a rookie catcher, recording a wins above replacement of 7.0, and winning Rookie of the Year unanimously. He would go on to win 10 Silver Sluggers and make 12 All-Star teams, and is widely regarded as the best hitting catcher in league history. But Piazza's most memorable moment was his game-winning home run for the New York Mets on September 21st, 2001, the first game played in New York following the terrorist attacks of 9-11. The 1994 winner was Dodgers outfielder Raul Mondesi. Mondesi won Rookie of the Year and the strike short in 94 season unanimously over a handful of other successful big leaguers such as Javi Lopez, Cliff Floyd, and Ryan Klesko. Mondesi hit 16 home runs and 27 doubles that season, and would continue to be an above-average hitter for the next 10 years. He would make one All-Star team and win two gold gloves, and finish his career with over 200 homers and 200 stolen bases. His son Adalberto is currently playing in the majors, and is with the Kansas City Royals as of 2019. 1995 saw Japanese pitcher Hideo Nomo take home Rookie of the Year honors. There's been some controversy in recent years with whether Japanese players with professional experience should be considered rookies, and that was the case with Nomo as he was the first Japanese player to play in the majors since the 1960s. He barely beat Chipper Jones for the award since a lot of voters did not view him as a rookie, but he qualified per the MLB criteria defining who is a rookie. His 1995 season saw him lead the league in strikeouts and finished fourth in Cy Young voting, posting a 254 ERA in the process. 
He would remain a big strikeout pitcher throughout his MLB career, but was never the most consistent in terms of run prevention. He finished his career with a record of 123 and 109 with an ERA of 424. Our final Dodger winner for the decade was Todd Hollinsworth. There is no clear-cut favorite for NL Rookie of the Year in 1996, with five players receiving first place votes. Hollinsworth would take home the award with 42 extra base hits and 21 stolen bases in 149 games, but would only play over 100 games in a season on four other occasions. Compared to the other players on this list, he may have had the least notable career, but would win the 2003 World Series with the Marlins. Other players receiving votes in 96 include Jason Kendall and a pair of World Series MVPs in Jermaine Dye and Edgar Renneria. Next up is our 1997 winner, Scott Rowland. Rowland was a unanimous winner in 97, beating out Andrew Jones and Vladimir Guerrero, among others. He hit 35 doubles, 21 homers, and drew 76 walks, and played tremendous defense at third base. Good for a wins above replacement of 4.5. Roland would go on to have a very successful career, winning 8 gold gloves and making 7 all-star teams, and winning the 2006 World Series with the Cardinals. His first year on the Hall of Fame ballot in 2018 saw him receive 10% of the vote, with many pointing to his consistent all-star level of performance worthy of induction. Our 1998 winner is Cubs pitcher Kerry Wood. The 98 NL Rookie of the Year race was a very tight one, with Wood receiving 16 first place votes and the Rockies' Todd Helton receiving 15. Both players were worthy of winning the award, but Wood ended up winning thanks to his 233 strikeouts and pitching one of the single greatest games in league history. In his fifth career start, Wood tied an MLB record with 20 strikeouts in one game against the Astros, allowing just one hit and no walks. He would go on to have a successful career, spending time as a starting pitcher and a reliever, and spending most of his time with the Cubs. We end our list with 1999 winner Scott Williamson. Williamson was a strong relief pitcher in his rookie season for the Reds, and would make his only All-Star appearance that season. He would strike out 107 batters in 93.1 innings, while recording 19 saves as the Reds missed the playoffs by just one game. Williamson would receive 17 of the first place votes for NL Rookie of the Year honors, defeating runner-up Preston Wilson, who was the stepson and nephew of former Mets great Mookie Wilson. Williamson would struggle with injuries during the rest of his career, and would last play in the majors in 2007 at age 31. So that concludes our list of the NL Rookie of the Year winners of the 90s. Is there a team or award you want to see covered in a future video? Be sure to leave your suggestions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Outta Here Baseball for more content. Thanks for watching.